I don't usually hunt these creeks. It, um, I'm down in this creek bottom here. I'm probably 15 feet below the surface of the field on both sides. I've hunted this over the years several times and I've only found like two brokes. So I just kind of give up on it. That and the uh, you know, them fields I hunt are just so massive that I can't, I mean, <laughs> I could hunt all day every day and I just can't hunt at all. I try to stick close to the rivers and close to this creek and I find enough to keep me busy. But today I've been in here about an hour. I mean, you can see this stuff's hard to hunt. All the creeks around here are just mud bottom and they're full of silt. So all these rocks are just covered with mud and silt. Everything is. I mean, there's gravel bars, but it's just so covered up with mud that it's just, it's just you can't hunt it. I mean, you don't see nothing. I'm sure there's stuff in here, but, you know, good luck finding it. I find a lot of fossils, like that rock there. See, there was a fossil right there that got eroded out. It's probably laying in this creek somewhere. I find a shitload of fossils in this creek, actually. That's about the only... See, I brought my, my bucket, because I'm going to walk this today and look for some fossils while I'm here. But today, I did get lucky. And I believe I've got something. I mean, it could be a faker. But I believe I've got the uh, the bit end of either a small axe or a cell or something sticking out here. Let's check it out. It's, I mean, to me, it looks like it could be faker. I don't know. And there ain't much pressure there. It's definitely sharpened, though. No, it's broke. Let me wash it off. Yeah, it's definitely broke. Sometimes I find them that are this short where the ends, you know, rounded off. And they've just resharpened them so much, but this one's definitely broke. The way it's sharpened to me, I'd say it's an adz. Because see how it's you know, sharpened more on one side? A celt will be, you know, on both sides, come down to, you know, they sharpen both sides. This one here looks like it's mainly sharpened on the, this top side. So I'm going to call this an adz. All right, for finding fossils, I'll uh, throw them up on here. What's up, YouTube? Me and Jenny's out here in this big old tomato field. We ain't hunted in a while. So we just parked up there. There's Jenny walking towards me. Uh, see, right here's the river. I'm like less than 100 yards from the river. I got my first point. We've been here not even 10 minutes. It looks like it's got a bit of a tip ding or in a base ding but hey for the first one of the day I ain't complaining oh yeah that's nice I don't even need a squirt bottle for that one just a little dirty all right First blood, Jenny's still looking. She's just not gonna have a truck. I already got one. Hopefully we're gonna have a good day. I just found this piece of Jasper. Pretty neat, let me get it wet. Look how, man, that thing's bright red. Pretty cool. I'll throw it in the bucket. I'm walking the uh, edge of the tomato field now. It's it's right up against the river. So there's a river. There's like at the end of each row. There's you know these spots here where it didn't get planted. And I got something. I think it could just be a flake. Yeah. 
just a flake. I got a busted up one here, so I'm still at the edge of the river walking these. They only go up. See, there's a hill right there, probably about 60 yards from the river. Then it goes up and crests off. Right here, I already flicked it with my stick because it wasn't. You know, you can see how much was showing. Just this little bit here was showing. It's some type of busted up blade. Busted up pretty good, pretty crude. I ain't gonna get the squirt bottle out, it ain't worth it. All right, see if I can find something else. I saw this one from about 15 feet away. So I'm just going up these little open spots here at the end of the field. I can tell it's Indiana green from here. It's right in this little uh, sinkhole thing. That... Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. I'll take that all day, every day. That's some nice Indiana green. It's got a little bit of a, a ding right there, it looks like. But that's nice. I mean, especially for this time of year in these fields that these plows hit so many times. And it's hard to find one that ain't dinged up. I'm down probably close to three quarters of a mile from where I started. I'm hunting uh, right here along the river. This is the cornfield now. I started way the hell down there. That's not my vehicle but there in the middle. That's a migrant worker in that tomato field pulling weeds. This field right here, this is a bean field. So it's the bright, all the way at the end is tomatoes. This is the beans and now I'm in corn. And I just, so I just come into this cornfield right here's the beginning of it. Got my bucket, my walking stick. This was just barely sticking out. It's a broke, but I'm going to show it because uh, I ain't finding too much today and there ain't much ground to hunt. I'm going to get it wet. So I don't usually show this kind of broke stuff, but see, all my fields are uh, sewed up tight. Just another type of big blade I find around here. All right, hopefully find something else. I went 20 feet, I think, right, right there's where I started. And I got another broke. But this material is pretty, this is a, I'm pretty sure it's a flank ridge material. So I'm going to film it. Where's it at? I'm blinded by the sun. It looks like the, I don't know, the base of one. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm pretty sure this is Flint Ridge. It's pretty colorful. It's got like red in it. But, you know, it's just a pooter broke piece, but it's pretty material. All right, see if I can find something else. Here's your nature moment. Look at this on the ground. It's just this one path. <laughs> It goes up into the cornfield. That's all bird poop. Very odd.
I've been here close to two hours probably. Ain't really finding much. I found that one you know, right when I got here. But I think I found the smoker for the day. I hope. Because I am just about ready to go. Because I am burning up. It's like 87 degrees here today. Oh, it feels good. Oh, yeah. Sweet. That's the best point I've found in probably two weeks. It's just been slow. I mean, everything's grown up. I hit that creek this morning, found that half a cell. But, I mean, this is probably the last field hunt I'm going to do to harvest. I might hit a couple more creeks that I know of. All right. I'm headed to the truck. Thanks for watching. Bye.